Okay. We're still on Earth. Rendezvoused with the Mad Angler. Which, if we rendezvoused with the Mad Angler, there's probably more water missions coming up. Okay, yeah, they're mentioning Char, so, yep, this is the Mad Angler from the series. So, presumably, we're chasing the, uh... We're helping chase the white base across uh, the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Hopefully, that maybe we'll jump straight to Jaburo. That would be great. The Jaburo invasion would be fun to play from this side. I'm not sure if I played a game that did that. It's been a long time. But, okay, yeah, it looks like, yep, looks like this is going to be Jaburo. I'm all for it. That may still mean underwater, you know, getting into the... Uh, getting into the base, but we'll see. Okay. I have no idea what they were saying, so I just skipped it. Let's see, uh... Liberio is still hanging on with his J-type Zaku, and we've got, uh, Schneid and Vincent as well, so that'll work. Let's go. Ah, uh, the Pale Rider. This is going to be fun. As of this recording, they were about to make some kind of uh, announcement as to some kind of new Gundam Build Fighters project. I'm curious to see how that comes out. I keep thinking, I, I know I've probably said it before, I keep thinking Build Fighters would be like the perfect Gundam series to bring back to the U.S. Because if you were to, uh, you know, sell both the model kits and supplement them with uh, nice, you know... Like, small action figures with swappable parts. Sorry about the thump. My hand smacked my keyboard, which is on the same tray as the microphone. But, yeah, just, you know, small figures with decent posability and, sw and swappable parts. And, like, bonus accessories. You could, you could get some mileage out of that. Like, things maybe about the size, maybe a little smaller than, uh, than the Universal Unit and Gundam Assault Kingdom figures. Because that would, that would keep the price manageable. Because that was one of the problems with the uh, MS in action. Is that I think they kind of priced themselves out of the market. Because those were... Way back in the way back when, they were pretty cheap. The basic figures were under seven under ten bucks. And, you know, try finding any action figure under ten bucks anymore. That's not like, you know, the core or anything by Leonard who were cheap. And the deluxes were 10, and then, like, the big box sets were 15. Like the uh, Gundam and G-Fighter. I'm old and bab babbling about how great uh, toy prices used to be, but no, they seriously were. It was fantastic compared to, you know... Back when Marvel Legends started, those were $10 a piece. They're 20 now. It's And you should see what $10 used to get you. It was Hulkbuster Iron Man, which is, you know, which has to be done as a build-a-figure now. With a little flying platform and a stand, all for $10. It was nuts. It was nuts, and it was wonderful, and I miss it. But missing the old world does not particularly do you much of any good, so... I, I can't help but miss MS in action in particular. Still my favorite toy line of all time. Oops, I hope we didn't smash into each other th uh, there, Doug, but... Oop, gun tank. Well, we are definitely in a target-rich environment here. I feel like the gun tank should be more hardy than that. It should probably have more defense than a gun cannon. But... Target! A pixie, a gun cannon, and the slave wraith. Oh, hey. Hi, race squadron. How you doing? The pixie's the most dangerous thing, but I'll start with the slave wraith. Well, I hit them both. That's a good start. I am running out of boost. I need to conserve that. Bazooka for all. Can I use my special on him? I can. Have to be... There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Not tremendously good damage, but pretty good. 
It looks like the target bars have their own health bars, which is good, because that means you don't have to kill them, you just have to do probably the prescribed amount of hit point damage. Nice try. Oh, Pixie. I have another special bar. I think I'm going to peel away and try and use it. Boom, boom, boom. Well, two out of three hit. That's pretty solid, and I think that might be enough to end the mission, because, yeah, that was kind of a thing. Luckily, I kept the pixie off me, which I think is going to be the key to success, because that melee damage, man. And, of course, you got a cape. How could you not bring a cape? I mean, of course, it's a giant tarp, but, you know, cape. This is probably the exact same cutscene we did the first time through, but that was far enough back I don't remember it, but that's life. Actually, it's just my horrible brain. And it's in Hades already, so... And there goes half the Marcosius team. Um, yeah, somebody's freaking out. I don't blame him. Uh, you might want to just run away, though. Because uh, that thing is pretty terrible. Okay, Vincent's on the t on the case. Oh yeah, the Pale Rider's not after us. It's after them. Yeah, so it's time we run away and just let the Pale Rider go after uh, go after the Wraith Squadron. Because, or you know, am I supposed to be running? I bet I'm supposed to be running. Whoa, look at all these targets. No, don't... One, two, three. Pretty good. Gundam first... Oops. That Jim's toast. Yeah, I've done as much damage to them as I can, so I really shouldn't be targeting them anymore. I should be targeting the targets, but the targeting system is being a targeting system. Oh, they're out they're outside of the area limit. That makes my life uh, harder. Waiting through Ah, Bazooka's reloaded. Shooting. Rolling. Luckily my teammates can walk out past the uh, area limit. That's something. Kill another gun tank. It's down. Next target. Gundam ground. Gundam ground. Okay. Gotcha. One, two, three. Doug, I think you blocked my shot. Which, I sure didn't mean to bazooka you in the face, so apologize. Apologies. Yeah, not apologize. I'm, I'm the one at fault for shooting you in the back. That's kind of a thing. Okay, well, despite a couple of Marcosius guys going down, here's five of us still. Time to keep our heads down and try and get the hell out of here. Let's see. Yeah, Mystery MS. It's a good time to have that shotgun, though. It's a shame that the uh, Doug Schneider freak could never uh, use that shotgun in... Uh, battle operation. I'm pretty sure only the standard freak could. That's a shame. Because, of course, with that giant knockdown axe, that probably would have been too much. It would have been too strong. Alright, mission complete. We were all combat possible. It did decent, so let's move on. Ah, new VR mission, too.